Hello everyone and welcome to the very first episode of Kronos Blindly Plays. Uh, it's, I think it's Phoenix Wright Dual Destinies, not Apollo uh, Justice. How do I change games? Switch games. Yes, Phoenix Rice, Ace Attorney, Phoenix Rice, huh? Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Dual Destinies. And we got some pretty good anime, apparently. Costumes? What? All right, cool. Uh, oh, does it tell you how many episodes it is? Not episodes, but chapters. Oh, it does. It does, it does, it does. Uh, I do know there is a DLC to this one. Um... I'm warned it comes somewhere in between some of these chapters. I probably will just play them in the order it, it does them, right? So, yeah. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. It's been a while since we played the last Apollo, well, Phoenix Wright game. Fe uh, Apollo Justice game? <laughs> I guess it wasn't that long ago, but... Now, he was talking, but he didn't say anything. Oh, did they not actually give voices to the anime? Is this a bomb? It's a bomb. Ba to the ba to bang to bang dicky. They all gonna die. Oh, she definitely dead. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. So we getting a new courtroom? Oh, is the game raising money for a new courtroom? These are dark times. What? Where the law has been reduced to rubble. There's VO? And it's up to us to restore it to its former glory. I'm assuming only for yeah, these scenes. I know what you mean. It looks like your target finally decided to make a move. Don't you worry. I've got a trusty new partner on board. Who can draw in the air like they just don't care. Mm. Done. I made it to Pornhub. You bet. Let's do this. She's been with us for half a year. Though I can hardly believe it. Anyway, her power will be our greatest weapon. <laughs> gonna be what? Miss? Professor Xavier after that one. You need to shave the head. Yeah, it's for this very reason I returned. Time to bring it to an end. There is like, what? There's an, there's one more game after this one, right? I know there's the Edgeworth ones. He doesn't have anything to do with the, the Great Ace Chronicles, right? I mentioned this is the first chapter, man. There's fucking six more. So is that the bat? Oh, is that Apollo? Paul lost an eye? And he's all bandaged up? What the fuck? You're a mummy man now? What the hell happened? Were you the bomb, dude? Uh, turnabout countdown. <laughs> the best thing about bombs is how they erase and destroy. Not really. Without discretion. I mean, they destroy. You can usually find out uh, traces of the bomb, though. That's why you always pay with cash. Now, all I have to do is pin everything on that little girl. 
Why does it always gotta be a little girl though? Why not a big girl? That's weird. This is weird. I know it looks really similar, but it's weird. Huh. Nope. Uh, I'm not feeling nervous anymore. Or not at all. Uh, it's amazing that what a girl can get used to. Even a tense atmosphere like this is no biggie. You doing okay, Athena? Oh, it's you. You're th oh my god, that's so actually unsettling. Oh, Apollo! Yeah, doing great! Like a, hum a, like, like hum a little tune, great! Oh yeah? Well, that's good to hear. Although, I could have sworn I heard your voice crack for a second there. Huh, I'm that transparent, huh? Cracking? No, not, my voice isn't cracking. <laughs> Nerves of steel, here, I tell ya. Don't mind the puddle under me. This is Apollo Justice. He's a fellow lawyer at the office I work for. <laughs> Apollo's the lead for the defense on this case. And I'm gonna be there at the bench with him, doing what I can to help out. I'll do whatever it takes to defend Junie. Speaking of steel, how are you holding up? That, that explosion really did- Oh, that's- <laughs> You were in the explosion. That explosion really did a number of you. It's like you look like you used the fucking, like, black dragon flame or something like that. <laughs> I'm just happy that you're okay, Athena. Although, I can't pretend I have no connection to this case. That's so why I'm gonna see to it that Juniper's name is cleared. And I'm sure you feel the same way. Oh, you got it! I can't rest until Junie's completely cleared of all suspicion. Apollo Thena. Is this Junie? Not gonna lie, I was expecting someone a little littler. Thank you for doing this for me. Judy! Woods. Cough. Cough. Oh, was that VO cough? And VO breath? Please don't do that. Hey, are you okay? Sorry about that. I always seem to go into coughing fits whenever I get nervous. This kind of thing never happens. Cough! At home in the forest. What are you, a fucking dryad? Like, why are you sniffing a fucking sunflower? This is Juniper Woods. Uh, she's m oh, she's my na dear, dear childhood friend. <laughs> we were roommates once, and she's also a cleaner, a case. This news keeps repeating that Junie is the alleged bomber. Yeah, she looks it. But that's ridiculous. There's no way Junie would have done something like that. Oh my god, is that a pine cone fucking, like, brooch? Is that an, like, R? No, what is it, like, uh, Mandarin? What are they? Is that what they call Mandarin oranges? Tiny ones? I bring you a little snack, Athena. I just a little something from my garden. You grow oranges in your garden? Oh, tangerine. I say, is this an orange or a tangerine? It's an orange. My grandma says that orange is the color of strength and endurance. I get it. Strength for the trial, right? Junie, you're always so good to me. Jeez, look at me. Standing here clutching an orange to my chest, tears in my eye. Well, don't worry about it. Who will be so powerful in there? You don't want to know what's in him, right, Apollo? Why are you crying? Yeah, that's right. Come with me. This is one trial. We can't lose. Where's the bathroom? Apollo! Apollo! Ugh. I just shit out my insides. But he's sleeping through his bandages. One of the wounds must have reopened. All this time he's trying to put on a brave face and looking extremely anime at the same time, but he was really overdoing it. Mr. Justice. Huh? The trial is about to start, sir. Please, proceed to the courtroom. What? Now? But Apollo's in no state to defend. I mean, honestly, I know it's a different courtroom because the other one blew up. This room does look pretty similar to the last one. I don't think we had a table in the last one, though. Or two bailiffs. Did we have two bailiffs? Not bailiffs, like police officers? Maybe. Huff, huff. Oh! I... I have to... 
Depend. Juniper. What are you gonna do? This trial's about to start with or without us. There's only one other option I can think of at a time like this. But even if I called him now, he'd never get here in time. No. Wait. There's something else I can do. Apollo? Give me all the evidence for the case. Huh? What are you gonna do? Bailiff! Yes, miss? The defense would like to submit a substitution of attorney, uh, of attorney petition. Dina! You're not seriously... You just concentrate on getting better. I'll defend Junie. All by yourself? Athena, stop for a second and think about what you're saying. I had like a fucking wizard girl on my side for most of the, my cases. And Phoenix had that other medium chick. And that little girl. And that ghost. It was kind of weird. You've never taken a case on alone before, right? What? No hay pro pro problema? Oh, is it Spanish? I guess. I can handle it! Are we Spanish? I think? I guess it's really up to you, Jeannie. Would you like me- would you, would you be okay with me taking over? Um... Sure? I believe in you, kind of, Athena. And that's enough of me. I'm poking my bandage. You're worried for me, aren't you? To be honest, I'm pretty nervous, too. I think my heart might just burst out of my chest. Uh, but you're in no shape to stand in, at a bench. They could just get him a chair, right? They're like a wheelchair. Or they could push the trial back a little bit, seeing how the, you know, prosecuted or defense, whatever you want to call it, is injured. Or the attorney is injured, right? Or at the very least, get him a wheelchair. I'm pretty sure there's fucking like lawyers in wheelchairs in existence. Probably. Are you grabbing your phone, Kronos? Yes. Uh, I don't know how well known it would be, but we're gonna Google it anyways. Uh, let's see. Lawyer in a wheelchair. Uh, working in courtroom presents challenges for lawyers who use, I'm assuming that says wheelchair. Who was a lawyer in a wheelchair? Raymond Burr played Perry Mason from 1961 to 1966. The character was not in a wheelchair. Okay, what? My life as a paralyzed criminal defense attorney. So there are some. <laughs> I think that second one was like an actor. Yo, it is it's the actor Raymond Burr. All right, yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> so you'll just have to leave it to me. All right, I can see your mind is made up anyways. I hate it that I can't be there, but I know you'll give your utmost to defend Juniper. You bet I will. Rest assured of that. Was Apollo not popular? Because... He had, he had like one game, apparently. And then they apparently blew him up in this game a little bit. Uh, my name is Athena S Sykes. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that one. Like, Syke! <laughs> totally a newbie here, but I'm also a lawyer. Still, this is only the second time I've, I've taken the lead in the defense case. It'll be the first time I stand up there alone. But I have to do this. I am definitely not about to let anything bad happen to Junie. Number five, nice. December 7th, what year is it? Oh my god. Day one. Court is now in session. All rise. They should have voiced this. Court is now in session for the trial of Juniper Woods. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Oh, fucking Christ, Payne. <laughs> you changed your wig? <laughs> the prosecution is ready, Your Honor. <laughs> uh-huh. And what is the meaning of this? I was under the impression that Mr. Red Monkey would be my opponent today. Red Monkey? 
Well, a substitution of attorney petition uh, was submitted just a few moments ago. Due to the explosion in the courthouse yesterday, Mr. Justice is unable to continue. I see, I see. Not all surprised he used that as he used to run away. With me and his uh, adversary, an adversary, there we go, who wouldn't want to feign illness in order to escape? Have you fucking won anything since we started playing against you? Apparently, I think you were undefeated when we first smashed you. What? Ah, the nerve of this guy! I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind! And a bullet! Well, I would if I wasn't so nervous. Ah, uh, this Aryan jerk! Widget. You- You arrogant jerk! No! <laughs> oh my god, I think she just broke her jaw. No, no, Widget! Is my hearing getting worse? I could have sworn I heard that offense say something just now. No, 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 you didn't hear anything at all, especially not from me. Does it have the same voice as her? Hmm, odd. I could have sworn I heard something. Oh, uh, that would be my indispensable partner, uh, Widget. He, uh, sometimes blurts out what I'm thinking, because he's an asshole. <laughs> well then. If that's the case, then this is a clear contradiction to, to what you just stated. Contradiction? You just stated that you said nothing. However, if that device of yours says what you're thinking, then you're indeed, you indeed said what I, said what I, what was it? Elegance at work? Eep! Actually, it was arrogant jerk. Oh my god, the facial expressions. Anyway, what does it matter if it's a red monkey or a yellow monkey facing me? Are you Frieza? Are we Saiyans? Like, what's going on? No fresh out of Alaska rookie can defend this witness. Mr. Payne, I believe that's enough. You have lost enough to prove otherwise. Let us get back to the case. Of course, Your Honor. I'm more than ready to show this little girl why they call me the Rookie Humiliator. I knew it. He really is an arrogant jerk. Arrogant jerk. Mr. S Ms. Sykes, if you continue to do stealthy prosecution, I will remove you from the court. Eek, I'm very sorry. It was just a knee-jerk reaction. Now then, Mr. Payne, your opening statement, if you please. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Now then, the incident occurred yesterday here at the very courthouse, in courtroom number four. Wait, this is the same courthouse? Did it not blow the fuck up? At the time, the trial for a certain bombing was being held in courtroom number four. Ah, uh, yes, I was proceeding over that trial as well. And all the other trials. I'm actually Nurse Joy of this universe, and Mr. Justice was there as the lawyer for the defense. A bond that was being presented as evidence suddenly went off during the trial. <laughs> what? <laughs> How fucking stupid do y'all have to be to submit a live bomb as evidence? Also, no one would be in this building if that fucking happened yesterday. They would have fucking evacuated this place until things were 100% secured with, like, the stability of the place. And the tower incident in courtroom number four was completely destroyed. Fortunately, we were able to start evacuation procedures before the explosion occurred. Just a few seconds more, it would have turned into a horrific loss of human life. But there was, in fact, one death, was there not? That's correct, Your Honor. When court, courtroom number four was exter examined after the blast, the body of Detective Candace Arm was discovered. Okay, it's probably probably Arm. Arma, Army, probably Arm. She was uh, to take the stand as a witness later in the trial. I suppose she wasn't able to evacuate in time. What a terrible tragedy. I must admit, I stumbled at least ten times myself before I pushed over women and children to the exit. Maybe the court should see about getting you even shorter robes. The victim's body was found near the entrance of the courtroom. I actually stayed until the very end to help guide the others out safely. Your Honor, allow me to submit as evidence the victim's autopsy report. And details about the bomb. Man, you guys, your fucking autopsy people work really fast. This happened yesterday? The time bomb that destroyed the courtroom it was hidden inside a stuffed animal and detonated. Uh, I like it. Okay, I know how this works. Uh, all evidence for the trial is filed in court records. When I want to check something out, I just use the RB button. 
What the fuck's an RB button? I better take a peek later. Let's take a peek now. Uh, let's see, my attorney badge. Uh, cow has a death. Trauma to back of head caused by impact from a flat object. Flat object, okay. Uh, time bomb that destroyed the courtroom is hidden inside. Can't do anything. Hmm. Was he not like. Why? He was like 21, 22, right? In the last game? I don't remember. I think Emma was 24, right? And they weren't that far apart. Another lawyer of the office, passionate about the law. He hates anything that's not fair or just. A client in the case, we've been childhood friends. A speaker who loves nature. Prosecuting Gaspin Pain. Excuse me? Where's Winston Payne? My god. The prosecuting attorney just seems to exude unpleasantness. The victim of the case, detective who was heading into the up the investigation into a bombing incident. Alrighty. Now then, please call the accused to the witness stand. Thoughts? Cough. Defendant, cover your fucking mouth when you cough, and are you feeling all right? You're looking a bit pale. You're not even a ginger. Hey, I'm sorry, I was feeling a bit weak when I first arrived here in the courthouse. Cough. Let me just hop on this, <laughs> this, this sunflower that definitely is, doesn't have paint inside. But I'll be all right. Junie's really giving it her all. I better make sure I do the same. <laughs> if you could please proceed. Your name and your occupation, defendant. Juniper Woods. I'm a, a high school student. Miss Woods, can you confirm you were in the courthouse on the day in the qu uh, day in question? But I thought you were like a fucking... No, no, I guess you just said you love the woods or something earlier. For some reason, I thought you said you worked in the woods earlier. Yeah, I just came to no apologize to my friend, Dina. Cough. And so, I was there yesterday to watch this trial and let my support. Something's wrong. Junie's really scared. <laughs> did you know I'm also known as the Defendant Humiliator? And it looks like I have yet another chance to show everyone how I earned that Monica. Uh, does his arrogance know no bounds? I have to protect Junie no matter what. Hey, Mr. Arrogant J- Prosecutor Payne! Huh? What is it? Do you want me to demonstrate why I'm known as the Rookie Millionaire instead? Deep breath, Athena. Don't let him get to you. We'll find him after the case. Prosecutor Payne! Ginny is telling the truth. Mr. Justice backed up her claim when he saw her- him, uh, When we saw him in the defendant lobby. And Junie, he said that he was able to get the Lotus route, route you gave him, too. He has? It was? My girl says Lotus Road is good for your eyes. She says they can even help you see into the future. I can see the future. Th they can? Uh, then that's perfect present for a lawyer. And if that's true, I guess he must not have eaten them. <laughs> oh my god. Mm, a sweet and meek girl like this, blowing up a courtroom to bits. I must say it's very hard to believe. Objection! Now, now, Your Honor. Don't let her seemingly innocent appearance fool you. The defendant has a mo It's always the innocent ones, but the defendant has a motive for committing this crime. That's not true. I don't have any kind of motive. <laughs> and I didn't even know the lady who was killed. I meant the investigation didn't tear up any connections between the victim and the defendant. However, that doesn't matter. The only thing that does is that her objective was destruction of the courtroom number four itself. Rubble, 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 rubble. Oh, she's pissed. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Why in the world Ms. Woods want to do that? Hmm, hmm. That's a very good question, coming from a novice such as yourself. But first, a question for the defendant. Have you ever been brought up on false charges? What? What? Yes. Yes, I have. 
And did that experience cause you to harbor a grudge against the court system? Objection! Now wait just a minute. If that kind of thing was a motive for blowing things up, then every one of our clients would turn into bombers. Hmm, that's a very valid point. Also horrifying. Why we wouldn't have a single courthouse left standing on the land? I can see that ex uh, the accused isn't the only one who might bear resentment against the court, but Ms. Woods is the only person who could have committed this crime. Why? Because we have found some decisive evidence that proves the defendant's guilt. Decisive, huh? I believe when I see it. I mean, me too, because they always say decisive evidence, and it's never decisive evidence. Except like one time. It involves that very unique aspect of the bomb, Your Honor. And what would, was exactly so unique about it? Huh. Why did I sound like a Minecraft villager there? Yeah. Uh, why don't we have Ms. Uh, Sykes answer that question? Huh? Me? Uh-huh. I noticed that you appear to be very nervous, and well, gentlemen that I am, I'd like to offer you the chance to gain some confidence on such an easy question. Could he be any more condescending? Really? What a thoroughly unpleasant man. L is for loser. Harumph. What did he just say? Nothing, uh, not a single thing. Now let's see. What was I supposed to do at a time like this? Oh yeah, I know. The court records. The information I need is somewhere in the court records. All right, Miss Sykes. Let's hear what your answer. I mean, the only thing I fucking have is this thing, right? Well, in the autopsy report, or my badge. I guess? I don't know. What was unique about the bomb that blew up the courtroom? Was it because it was with... inside a stuffed animal? <laughs> Fuck, I just broke my hand! Miss Payne, or Mr. Payne, whatever the fuck you are, that's the kind of symbol you need to take me for. It was stuffed inside a stuffed animal. The evil intention is covered up by a cute exterior. Just like me! <laughs> Very good. Have a cookie. The bomb that went off in the courtroom was indeed hidden inside a stuffed animal. Haha! <laughs> there, how do you like that? Not bad, huh? I am fine. Just like I said it was from the start, I can do this. Yes, as recall, or as I recall, the bomb was inside a stuffed animal this whole time. I never even got to take a look at it. And, but what connection does this impish elephant have with the defendant? The answer to that question lies in another piece of evidence. Which is right here. What, pray tell, is that? It appears to be a little singed. I almost said singed. But, uh, is that a tail? It's a tail, Your Honor. There you go. The tail of the poor victim of the explosion. This is incredible. Are you saying Detective Arm's tail? This is Detective Arm's tail? Your Honor, it's still very close, but no. It belongs to the stuffed animal. It's called the Phony Fanty. A rather unpleasant name, you ask me. Hmm. Yeah, he's the mascot of a campaign to eliminate false evidence and false charges, is he not? Exactly. His motto is, uh, Phony evidence is just trunked up. That's a good one. It's so wrong at so many levels. No, it's good. Shut up. The funny fanty uh, tail is made of vinyl cloth. And we found something very interesting on its surface. The defendant's fingerprints. What? The funny fanty provided the prosecution with all the evidence we needed. It clearly proved that the accused handled the bomb. Uh, uh, eep, my eyes! But that doesn't make any sense. Why would Judy's fingerprints be on it? Hmm. This does appear to be pretty irrefutable evidence. The court accepts that it's evidence. Alright, piece of stuff, animal that the, the bomb was inserted into. Defendant's fingerprints are found on it. What the fuck, Junie? Ms. Woods, do you have an explanation for this? I... I don't understand. I... Cough, cough. How about you, Ms. Sykes? Do you have any plausible explanation to refute this decisive piece of evidence? Uh, you examine it? No. Well, I... Uh... I can't do it. I can't think of a single thing. But I better come up with something. For Junie's sake. 
And if you can't produce the answer, we could always go straight to the ruling, if you prefer. Ha! Huh, no! I have to say something fast! I might throw up, actually. Oh no! I can't get my voice to work! Why now of all times? What the fuck was that? I thought I overcame this already. Maybe I'm still not ready to stand in court. Why does she sound like that, Corona? I don't know. Why we get an anime? What did you do? Oh, fuck. That's a lot of blood. A sword? I see, it's always the fucking children. They're always fucking wielding swords and being stronger than everyone else. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. Oh, that's horrifying. Is that a judge? <gasps> a different judge that's not Canadian. As you can see, there is no room for debate. Objection! Why, it's you. Hi, I'm 3D now. <sighs> Sorry it took me so long to get here, Athena. Paul explained the whole thing to me over the phone. He asked me to come help you out in his place. Thanks for coming. I hate to admit it, but I was having a real tough time, rough time on my own. Oh, I don't know. I think you were doing just fine, all things considered. And you hung in there, giving me enough time to get here. Now let's turn things around. <laughs> you got it, boss! <laughs> Ah, look who showed up out of the blue. If it wasn't- if it isn't Mr. Phoenix Wright, you always managed to surprise me. Your Honor, Mr. Payne has called for an early ruling, but I believe there are still many things that need to be deliberated on. How did Mrs. Wood's fingerprints wind up on a stuffed animal's tail? How was the bomb even detonated? Until these questions are answered, I assert it's impossible for a fair ruling to be made. Hmm, you are absolutely right. Let us continue from where we left off. I assume you have no objections, Mr. Payne. <laughs> None at all, Your Honor. Can we get this lady some oxygen or something? Miss Woods really looks like she's having a hard time. Jeannie's really struggling, Mr. Wright. I can sense she's afraid of the courtroom itself. Because of yesterday? Yeah, it was understandable. It was understandably very traumatic for her. Poor thing, and here she is, back in the courthouse again, being so brave. I'd like to make a request, Your Honor. If at all possible, I'd like to have Ms. Woods rest in the lobby. Hmm, given the defendant's condition. Very well, I grant special permission. Ha <laughs> ha! You go get some rest, Ginny, and leave the rest to us! Okay, thank you! Sorry about this! Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, uh, Phoenix Wright. I've been looking forward to meeting you. It's been a while, Mr. Payne. <laughs> You're more clueless than I'd heard. I do believe you mean, how do you do? For I am Gaspin Payne. I am the younger brother of your long-standing rival, Winston Payne. What? Long-standing rival? When were we ever rivals, let alone long-standing? You'll see, Mr. Wright. I will cleanse Winston of the disgrace he met at your hands. Huh. <sighs> looks like the like this royal pain is going to be as thoroughly unpleasant as the other. <laughs> your Honor, the prosecution would like to call a decisive witness to the stand. This witness will testify how the accused detonated the bomb in the courtroom. New hammering. My God. Very well. Please call your witness, Mr. Payne. Oh, so this guy's the dude that did it, right? You got like a fucking vault boy on your hand? What the fuck is that? Witness, your name and occupation, please. W witness? Name, Ted Tunis. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Ted to Nate.
Wow, maybe this guy is innocent after all. That is just utterly fantastic. All right, just got a quick drink there. Um, I think for these episodes, we'll probably be doing like the 45-ish minute ones. Kind of is replacing a longer series, so I'm not going to go too, too long with them because it does wear out the voice a little bit. But we did the Apollo Justice like 40-ish, 45-minute one, so we'll probably stick to that. Occupation, bomb disposal specialist. Oh my, what a strange robotic voice you have. Speech synthesis via typing. It is the same as me talking. He says exactly like a robot. Can you speak in a normal manner? I can. He can? But I do not like to speak. Speaking is inefficient. Energy expendants speaking greater than typing. Understand. <sighs> what an odd witness. Mr. Tenate <laughs> was, was in charge of the, the bomb for the trial and was there when it went off. Being a bomb, uh, <laughs> being a bomb squad specialist, do you have any relation to the victim? Negative. I first met the girl while on this job. Many people are employed by the police. I am only a fraction of them. However, I was shocked when I first discovered the body of the victim. Shocked. I was the first one on the scene after the explosion. I went through to ensure safety, but I ended up discovering a dead body. Huh. So he was the first to discover the body, was he? He uh, is here to testify about the circumstances around in the moment of the explosion. Very well. This court will hear Mr. Tenet's testimony. But at the very least, show this court some respect and remove the face guard witness. When the bomb went off, the bomb was originally disarmed by by me, then transported here as evidence. Bomb name HH3000, operated by timer or with a remote. I was watching from the gallery when it suddenly became alarmed. I saw the bomb's timer was counting down. So even the bomb was supposed to be disarmed. It somehow got switched on. Precisely, activating the timer is very simple. Connect wires, switch the done timer. A, mo a monkey could do it. I'm sure even you would be able to, Mr. Wright. Hey, I guess that makes you the blue monkey in this bar in, the in this barrel of fun, Doss. Uh -huh. I like to begin my cross examination, huh? Mr. Tenet, uh, what is that? HH3000, aka a bomb. A bomb? Great googly moogly! <laughs> Mr. Tenet, I demand that you disarm in this instance! Disassembly complete. Ham, 5.3 seconds. 0 0.2 seconds short of my personal best. Are you trying to give me a heart attack? I'm not exactly a spring chicken, you know. This is an exact replica of the HH3000. It is used to practice disarming bombs. Dis uh, disarm, success, explosion, eagle failure. An exact replica of the bomb that exploded, is it? So that's what it looked like. How the fuck did it fit into a thing, then? I submitted a photograph of the rail bomb just taken just before the trial. Dimensions, 10 inches, 10, uh, 10 height, 10 width, 10 dimension, diameter, yeah. Weight, 12 pounds, a perfect replication. Your bomb does appear to be a very good copy indeed. Yes, however, I cannot replicate the detonation mechanism. It was a very puzzling wiring setup. It is regrettable that I could not replicate it. Witness, that is enough. There's no need to replicate anything here. Okay. Oh, we can examine it now. Uh, and if the defense would begin their cross exam Hmm, one second. Let's examine. Uh, oh, okay. Five sixteenth inches alloy plating. Okie dokie. Where has Miss Sykes gone to? She's hiding. Athena, you can come out now. Okay, Mr. Wright, let's get to work. <laughs> I guess you were pretty scared, huh? What now? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. She was about to bolt. <laughs> hey, put a stock in it, Widget. 
<laughs> as transparent as ever. Now let's let's see, uh, where were we? Uh, we were at the cross examination. Oh, cross examination, of course. She seems disoriented. I wonder if she's all right. Maybe I should ask Athena if she remembers how to cross examine to help her focus. Uh, I mean, I guess just in case there's something new. But I feel like they would just make you do the tutorial anyways. You know, I'll do it, yeah. Uh, Athena, you remember how to conduct a cross-examination, right? What? Of course I do. What kind of lawyer would I be if I didn't? Now, now, don't get upset, but what do you, would, uh, what do you say to humoring me with a little review? You got it. Basically, we examine a witness's testimony and compare it against the co court records, searching carefully for any inconsistencies. The green text represents the witness's testimony. You can use the left stick to advance the next to the next statement of the testimony. Or the, the left stick to the right, or to the left, uh, to go back to the previous statement. Paying close attention to the testimony, we should keep an eye and ear for anything strange. And be prepared to present oh, with the RB button our case via the court records. The court records contain information on all evidence we have at our personal or at our disposal. We can use, use it to look at the for, for facts that conflict with the what the witnesses say. Man, I ain't stuttering all over my words. Press present uh, and present why any counter evidence we can find to refute their uh, statement. And if nothing conflicts with this witness's testimony, well, that's when we press with the LB button, the witness for more information. Finding inconsistencies or lies in the testimony and reveal them in the court. That's what cross examination is all about. Looks like you remember just as I taught you. Actually, I just taught you to press on everything unless the judge says you'll be punished for it. And it was a nice refresher course for me. If you can't find any contradictions, and you flub up too often, you don't be afraid to ask me for help. Press Y with the options to consult with me when uh, with me appears. When the option to consult with me appears, okay. Oh, you know when I think uh, the suspicious statement, where I think the suspicious statement is. Sounds good, I'll be counting on you if I get into a bind. All right, it's cross-examination time. All right, so just, yeah, press on everything. Only four statements. You say that you disarmed the bomb, but you are, are you really sure you disarmed it? Absolutely, I can disarm anything. In a flash. Ugh, that looks more like dismantle than disarm to me. Oh, pardon me. Uh, let's see. Is there any chance you could have forgotten this on the bomb? Impossible. I do not make rudimentary mistakes like that. They say to err is human. Err. Although, the jury's still out on this guy. <laughs> if you must know, Mr. Wright, according to the court's own records, the fact that the bomb had was uh, the fact that the bomb had indeed been disarmed was officially confirmed. Huh. I guess I could rule out the possibility that he forgot to disarm it. Could you talk about the bomb in a little more detail then? Certainly. Uh, hold it. Hold it. What was the approximate size and weight of the bomb? Dimensions, that stuff. This is mentioned also written on the photograph. Look at this photograph! That's it, here it is on the back. According to this, the case is made out of alloy plating 5 sixteenths of an inch thick. That certainly sounds like one thick and very heavy bit of metal. I mean, if I dropped that, thi drop that thing on your foot, you'd be hopping. If I dropped that thing anywhere, I'd be hopping for the nearest exit. Very well, I believe the court has heard enough about the bomb itself. So, Mr. Tenet, uh, you were keeping an eye on the bomb. Where were you watching from? Alright. Why were you in the gallery? My duties may have been over for the moment, but I wanted to keep watch. Even though the bomb was disarmed, you can never be too careful. Explosive devices are very dangerous things. Ah, how admirably responsible of you. Uh, a model to be emulated. I practice disarming bombs every day. Whoa. I practice assembling them too. That's not creepy. The disarming part I get. 
But the assembling them? Well, I'll have you know that I practice presenting evidence every day by myself. I see, but do you ever practice having evidence presented to you? Presented to me? What? No, I... Then you cannot very well call yourself a professional yet, can you? Grr, that does it! I'm gonna start practicing having evidence presented to me every day! And you better drink some coffee, boss! We're gonna be pulling out natives! Uh, I don't think that will be necessary. Or worth either of our times. Mr. Tenator, did the, what you witness the yeah, what did you witness from the gallery? My eyes are long. Hold it. You sound coming down clearly with your own eyes. I hardly think a timer as small as the one on the bomb can be seen from the gallery. These goggles help me see very small things clearly from afar. I can even see you had uh, what you had for breakfast by looking at your tie. Why do I suddenly feel like a bug under my magnifying glass? Like a bug under, the under a magnifying glass. Jesus Christ, Kronos. It's, it's almost over. I guess it's possible he saw the timer if he was wearing those goggles. I'm not sure. There's something that just doesn't sit right with me. Huh. I don't think I follow. The bomb is completely hidden inside the stuffed animal. So well concealed, in fact, that it didn't even look like a bomb at all. So you're trying to find testimony that conflicts with the evidence, right? That's right. Listening carefully to Mr. Tenet's testimony is just the first step. After that, it's a matter of taking a look at a book and reading Rainbow, uh, and also a look at any evidence that seems relevant. Uh, remember to open the... <laughs> yes, okay, thank you. Find every I know, I know. Let's see. This testimony is about when the bomb went off. So I think the state of it at the time would be pretty, impo pretty important. Huh. A bomb that didn't look like a bomb because it was inside a stuffed animal, huh? Well, we'll just have to present that next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all then. And hey, since this is the first episode of the series, press the like button. Subscribe. I got a fucking ton of other series you can go check out too. Bye!